Objection, my lord. Go ahead. My lord, it's all well and good, but let's not forget what she has been accused of here. Mm. Murder. Mm. And surely, we cannot read the defendant's mind to know whether or not she's a flight risk. Objection overruled. Lawyer Chris, please proceed. Thank you, my lord. My lord, the willingness of my client's parents to put up their small business as security for bail, even though it is the only property they own, goes to show the fact that they have faith, that they believe that she, my client, will not try to leave our great country. I've heard enough. And I've taken into consideration the medical report that was presented to me earlier. I grant bail to the accused under these conditions. Accused will report to the police twice in a week. And when she's released from the hospital, she'll be confined to her parents' home. She will only be allowed out of the premises to appear before court till the end of the trial. Amen. 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 I trust her. No, no. Okay, guy, you had a woman team, Corona. Did you move me? You know, and I pass. I trust her. Now you have to Christ on your shelf on it and no more. I will go out by and be a man and you for that. And you have to shelf with us as a Christ to a rabbi, a papay and a pony and a and a jabony and a bonny and a spatter was there. Oh, be a bonny. They will say, be a Jacopo, anyone have a daddy. What I mean, you make a child with the same. Oh, bonny. And uh, like I told you earlier, you can't afford to miss this movie. Uh, that, that was Uncle Fred. Yeah, that was Uncle Fred. <laughs> no, uh, Obi should be talking. <laughs> 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 the movie ever is premiering on the 6th of March, and we have the cast here. Some of the cast, actually. We have the director, producer is here. Sichofe. <laughs> yeah. You actually sanctioned that. Yeah. Sichofe, <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Thank you so super, much. Super, super Reason. proud Thank of you. you. So much, and I don't know how you managed to get this, the most busy man in the world to be a part of this movie. Mm. I just said, I'm. <laughs> How do you make time? We know we know your schedule. You are you are one of the busiest people I've I'm ever met. In my life. <laughs> He's everywhere. I had to make time. And creating he serious impacts. Yeah. He's the male hardest working Thank actor. And now the boy is the male female <laughs> the female hardest working actor. The two of you. Ah, oh boy. Wow. It's good. I mean, I love this. And the storyline makes a lot of sense. Yeah. You know, because we've cried for this. We want to tell our own stories. Yes. We want to make sure That's that we right. project certain things that happening in our you know society that yes. we basically right. make some yeah. produce out of that and so mm. coming from there i'm not excited about this mm. but let us know what what inspired this is it a real story was it a real life situation what exactly got into well this? ever like you all know means it's finished yeah. and um it's based on a true life story okay. and um i personally have also experienced um domestic abuse so I, I, I felt it was time to tell the story. Mm. And um, so we went through the process, had lots of discussions, even with my um, fellow actors, mm -hmm. and um, we agreed to do this. Because there is a, there's this notion, mm. and there is this way our society likes to shroud this yeah. particular topic. It's like nobody wants you to talk about it. It's very triggering. Mm. or even the people who are not experiencing it, more than those who are experiencing it. And I'm always like, no. Rather, the more we talk about it and the more filmmakers will make films about things that are happening in our society, then it, it, it brings up the topic mm -hmm. and then people can discuss it more. Then we can all find a way forward to end it. But if we are all shrouding it in some secrecy, then mm. it, mm -hmm. nothing can be done about it. Yes, so for us, we hope that it will initiate conversations it will spark up, you know, change mm. it, it, gradually. It won't be overnight, but once it's put out there often, 
then people will find the need to change. Mm. Yes. So was justice served in this movie? Um, that is what we would leave. <laughs> <laughs> because it's not a thing. You know, it looks like justice has never been served. Into when it comes to these issues, mm -hmm. you know, you go round, round, round it, yeah. and then it comes back. Mm -hmm. Another situation pops yes. up again, mm -hmm. and yes. we're not able to find lasting solution exactly. to it. Exactly. And all that. I don't know how they'll be able to. Get but you know that. that <laughs> you know the interesting part. Justice is always served to one party. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You know, exactly. if yeah. if if I were to kill someone who is even maybe trying to rob me of something. The, part, the, the family of that person would never see it as mm. justice has yeah. been served yeah. if, I'm let, if I'm made to go scot-free, yeah. even though I was defending myself. Yeah. Mm. So these things are very tricky. That's why, for me, I think the best thing to do, especially in cases of domestic violence, is to walk away as yeah. early as you can. Ajit, let's talk about your role. What was yeah. your role in there? I, I played a detective. Uh, oh, wow. 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 <laughs> <laughs> what, what have you done? <laughs> Yes, yeah. you know, and, and, and for me, it was also a way of um, trying to throw light on uh, the agency and stakeholders you know, related to domestic violence and uh, whether they're being proactive enough, mm. um, how far, what lengths do they go um, to ensure that you know, some justice is served, if, if you will. Uh, because there's also the notion where people have this perception that it's domestic violence, you know, your man has hit, it, has hit yeah. you. Uh, it's okay, go and solve it in your home. Mm -hmm. it's, you know, and, and we want to make it very, very, as much of a sensitive issue as it is, because it, that's where it starts from. And before even a woman comes out to say it, then it's like she's at the very edge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, she's, she's gone through phases of it, yeah. and yeah. She, she, she's like, okay, now my life is in danger. Mm -hmm. And so we should not just see it as, oh, it, it just happened, and happens, she's yeah. just come to say it. And, and so how, how the agencies relate to this and how we can also work together to, to, to you know, at least at this barest minimum, bring it down. Mm. Yeah. Were there parts of the movie that got you emotional? Oh, yeah, there were. You know, and, and for me, realizing that for 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 and, and it's, it's not like speaking for um you know the, the victims it's more of getting an understanding of what they go through um when we say that people do not speak out would wish that they do mm -hmm. but you also have to realize that they, they go through certain phases that um that is very very human i mean they're dealing with trauma they're dealing with emotional issues psychological um yeah the issue of okay if i walk away my kids is going to take care yeah. if i walk away how am i going to make ends meet and all these things are things that are, are important to them and and they, they need some guidance they need some um, th um, therapy to be able to walk through those phases so that when they make the a, a choice and decision they don't have regrets mm -hmm. because then it would have you know really been well informed and all that and so um for me that was something that that really was telling and it was quite emotional for mm -hmm. me but of course for the corporate as well you know sometimes people act based on um, you know, you, you don't do much of that. Yeah. Um, you rely basically on just how you feel and emotions. And then maybe you strike somebody and then it becomes fatal. And then when it's being played back to you, you're like, when did I get here? Exactly. What about you know, and there's regrets. And, yeah. it, you know, and, and for me, that also is very important as much as the victim, that the core prison there should, should, should look at it again and look, this is the end product of what you, you've started. And once it starts with a slap, yeah. Yeah, it builds. Yeah, yeah. It's a punch. It's 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 a push. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it and then now worse. you're gonna strike them with a, with with some kind of weapon or something. Yeah. It, it never decreases. It always increases. Yeah. And so for the corporates and those who are fond of doing that, they also get the opportunity to see what the end results could yeah. be, especially when it's it's still traveling, so that we begin to make in rules and and make adjustments so that we we, we can tell it. Um, so yeah. My, my other issue will be a very important part of the entire production, which is casting. Now, I realized that there were some ways to put in humor, mm -hmm. just to make yes. sure we were able to build up on yeah. it. In terms of casting, I w went into it, so you were able to bring all these people that you said. <laughs> you're talking about a very sensitive issue, yes. but yet That's you're right. putting in a bit mm -hmm. of humor to you know, yeah. lessen the situation a bit. Uh, of course, because um, it's a film and you don't want people to come into the cinema and just be downcast the entire time, um, there needs to be elements of that in it as well. But aside that, because it's a true life story, a story is being told from a certain perspective. And these are um, 
places this character went to in her life's journey mm. to get there. It got to a point where um, she was actually going to pastors to pray for... Because Which it, in real life happens. Yes, yeah, yeah. 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 To, yeah. Because yeah. sometimes when the person... Because when you meet a narcissistic person or an abuser for that matter, they don't just start beating you. Mm -hmm. yeah. It starts from psychologically downplaying everything that mm. means something to you, your, mm. your self-worth, your, your, yeah. your power, your yeah. ego, everything. Mm. It, so it starts from there, and then they start to alienate people f are, are, are away wow. from you. So your friends, your co-workers, you, 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 they start to isolate you. Yeah. So then, then it moves from there to now starting to verbally abuse you, to emotionally abuse mm -hmm. you, you know, deny you of things. Before it gets to the point where you are being physically abused, mm. a lot of things have happened yeah, in the sure. background. So by that point where you are actually being physically abused, you know, your self-worth has totally diminished yeah. to the point where walking away is not your first point yeah, of call. Yeah. Mm. Uh -huh. So you find that you want to do things to get them to stop mm. rather than Please run out of this. Uh -huh. So this particular character actually at a point was going <laughs> to... As many churches as you could hear. Also. Just to save their relationship. Just to save their relationship or to save this man. Because yeah. they are, abusers are actually one of the most loving people you meet when, yeah. you, when yeah. you meet them in relationship. Yeah, on the other first. side of that. Exactly. Uh -huh. So the story is telling someone's story and their journey. Mm. I just can't wait to... Yeah. It's beautiful. Yes. I, 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 yeah. love, I love yeah. it. I can't wait. Yeah. So it, it's on... 6th of March. of March. Yeah. I, I want to emphasize this point as well. For me, it is important that as many young ladies, especially, who would mm. come to the mm. cinema to watch mm. this, because mm. most times, I mean, it is an anomaly to see a man being abused, yeah. but I'm not saying it doesn't happen. It happens a lot. But because they are um, the stronger the minority, vessels... They are even in the minority. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So for me, my emphasis is a lot more on younger ladies coming there, watch. Because one thing, when I was younger, I was very stubborn. I was, I was very, I mean, my mom did her best. I, I would say this for free. So the point where I was even going through abuse and actually being able to come out of that, now sitting back and looking back, I know some of the things, if I had only listened mm. to my parents. Well, then I'm going into that Exactly. Mm. So I wish that as many young ladies would come into the cinema to yeah. watch, take a lesson or two, yeah. as, uh, while you're having fun as well, yeah. watching a good yeah. film with, Amazing cast. Mm. Yeah, love so, so, so the it. cast, who are some of the people to expect that day? Uh, on the screen? So, Nashoko, okay. um, Fred Amogi, Maina Otu, um, Obi and Ponsa is in there, Abeku Santana, oh, wow. Pascal in Edward. No, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely a star started <laughs> movie. And the yeah. 6th of March, yes, what please. time? The first showing is 7 p.m., okay. then the second showing is 9 p.m., yeah. but the red carpet starts at 6. Are tickets out already? Yes, tickets are so out. So how do we get our tickets? Yes, you can dial star 88 star 7, star 887 star 273 hash. Okay. Or you can call 267 877 977 okay. to get a ticket. And it's only 100 Ghana cents. Yes, and when you buy the ticket, it will be delivered to you for free. Okay. Hey, via right. Cheetah Deliveries, yes. Oh, wow. They will bring you the ticket for free. So you don't have to pay for deliveries, just pay for your ticket. Except you're in Kumase. Exactly. Yeah. So long as I apply and Tema. Anyway, we will come to you at Kumase. Thank you so much uh, for being here. We are super thank grateful. You. Anything you, you want to say before we quickly round up? Um, um, Ajete here would testify that making a film is not an wow. easy thing. Mm. It is emotionally, psychologically, financially daunting yep. on filmmakers. If I hadn't attempted it, I wouldn't have known. Mm. The amount of times I've called this man <laughs> crying and he will console me, see, she'll just calm down, everything will be okay. It's, it's endless. Yeah. So yeah. I'm just begging Ghanaians. We are trying to make good, good productions. All we are asking for is help. Yeah. Please, we are in Ghana here, West Africa yeah. here, and we saw that Funke Akindele amassed two billion yeah. Yeah. cities in film. Yeah. We, we also it can, is we because can. the people actually trooped into That's the true. cinema to watch. Tribe of Judah is not yet in, uh, on Netflix, but people actually went to the cinema to watch. If we can do well with our cinema-going culture, Actors and producers in this town will totally appreciate. So please, just buy tickets. It's just 100 cities. If you come in, it's not good. <laughs> It'll be good. <laughs> it's yes. definitely, it's definitely we'll, good. It is. Exactly. We'll, we'll give back your money, Steve. Yes. But we're right. not going to get there. And we're last thing, I would like to thank Nashoko, Ajete Anan, Abeku Santana. These, look, the, 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 
older folks in the industry, my Naoto, they are amazing. Working with them has been one of my life's joy, honestly. Thank them for Okay, cut, cut, cut. So that actually means, you know, it's over. finished. Done. And, or it's finished, if you like. And uh, she's Sicho, so you can imagine where we go to with this. Anyway, yeah. so make sure you go to the cinema on the 6th of March and watch this movie. Make sure you grab your ticket as well. Thank you so much for watching Prime Morning. We are super grateful. We're back guys. tomorrow. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for yes, having us. Yes, we are back, back tomorrow, tomorrow from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. Are we going to still be like this yeah. tomorrow? Yeah. What do you think? Who is it that rock like that? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I know. Yo, we get the show now. We get the show now. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. <laughs>